Hello, this is Simeon with Praisetracks.com, and um, after my Scoring Fun project that I did with Philharmonic 2, someone just requested that uh, run through some of the harpsichord sounds, so I'm going to briefly run through these for you. Um, not uh, a harpsichord player by trade, so, <laughs> so forgive me, but I just want to kind of play through some of these and give you an idea of what they sound like. So I'm just going to go over here and I've already loaded up the harpsichord, harpsichord lower keyboard sound, so let's take a listen and I'll go through and, and we'll just go down this list and see uh, what each one sounds like. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of nice. And so let's go to the upper keyboard. We're going to load it just right in the same slot here, just for. I'm not real sure how they how deeply they sampled it, but um, you know I th I think you can sometimes you can hear some of the stretching and different things. But uh, let's go to the next one. This is called Dual Unison. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. You know, sound always inspires me. Uh, when I hear a sound, kind of pulls things out. And I'm not a classically trained musician by trade, but it's just what you hear, um, what you listen to over the years, and just what uh, kind of comes out. Um, watching a lot of classic movies, or <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Okay, now this is called triple unison. So you almost hear like a chorus or... So it just kind of adds like a fat, fatter sound. <laughs> Something like that. And when you get to the extremes, of course, you're going to hear different artifacts but that's pretty that's pretty thick that's kind of nice uh, two octaves harpsichord two octave patch here that's kind of nice Yeah, that's kind of cool. I uh, actually got to see um, a performance by Mannheim Steamroller uh, the day before Thanksgiving, and so they had a full electric harpsichord uh, on stage, and that was an interesting experience for sure. So I'm having some flashbacks with that. Uh, this is the, what they call the harpsy cl clav, so let's see what that sounds like. a little soft attack sound in there and it's kind of kind of got a neat uh...
that's kind of fun. Uh, so, and then they, looks like they go through the same thing. Uh, they just kind of stack. stack it. Uh, double unison. Looks like they've added a pad here, so let's take a listen. Yeah, so they just add like a little pad here. And you notice, um, you know, you have the macro buttons here that have uh, control over some of the effects and basic EQ things. Uh, so they take the double unison patch up here and they put a nice pad like a nice little string pad, uh, harpsichord pad, lower keyboard. And lastly, we're going to take a look at the harpsy pad two octaves. And um, basically, this, this has taken the harpsy chord two octaves and uh, adding the pad to it. So let's take a listen. And you have an adjustment here on the macro control. And it sounds like a, just like a fat synth pad type of sound. But it just adds a little bit of depth, a little bit of bottom, kind of fills some things in. I like the way the that low end has that that nice little that, I, I guess it like a twang or just that really nice uh, people. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize, Stevie, <laughs> but you know, uh, sometimes the sound. It just kind of brings it just kind of brings it out. Um. There you got the full range there, and um, and I couldn't couldn't let you guys go without uh, giving you a little sample of. Uh, uh. <laughs> sound is just so much a part of our lives we don't realize it and then you you know you hear different sounds it triggers uh, emotions it triggers memories and uh... I mean growing up you know you hear a harpsichord that's immediately what you even before you knew about uh, Beethoven and Mozart you knew about the Adams family and the harpsichord you know uh... So uh, that's a little fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, just taking a, a listen to some of the uh, classical harpsichord patches in IK Multimedia's Philharmonic 2. And again, this is Simeon with praisetracks.com. And just appreciate all your feedback. And if you have any further questions or would like to hear, um, hear more, uh, just let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do. Uh, have a great day and we'll see you soon.